हेलो वेलकम बैक टू आवर यूट्यूब चैनल आर यू रेडी टू अनलॉक द फुल पोटेंशियल ऑफ अडोबी फोटोशॉप गेम चेंजिंग फीचर दैट इज जनरेटिव फिल वेल देर आर सम यूजर हैव एनकाउंटेड अ लिटल हिकअप दैट जनरेटिव फिल नॉट शोइंग इन अडोबी फोटोशॉप बट नो वरी इन टूडे वीडियो इन टूडे वीडियो आई एल वॉक यू थ्रू हाउ टू यूज जनरेटिव फिल इन अडोबे फोटोशॉप and if it is not showing for you then why generative fill is not showing in adobe photoshop and how you can fix it so adobe photoshop having this latest ai feature that is generative fill generative fill feature utilize the power of artificial intelligence to effortlessly add extend or remove content from your images with just a few simple text prompt it's like having a magic wand at your fingertips granting you the ability to manipulate and enhance your visuals in a snap so suppose you have now access so to of the generative fill how you can use it simple start by making a selection around the desired object or the area in your image using any of the selection tool available in the photoshop you can use the tool like rectangular marquee tool lasso tools or quick selection tool to create your selection once you have made the selection you can proceed with any of the following method method 1 select the generative fill button in the contextual task taskbar this taskbar should appear automatically after making the selection look for the generative fill button within the taskbar and click on it method to go to the application bar at the top of the photoshop window click on the edit menu and choose generative fill from the drop down list method 3 hold down the control key in window and right click within the selection area in the context menu that appear choose the generative fill option now many user have reported that generative fill not showing in the adobe photoshop so let's discuss how you can fix it first thing is uh first thing is unsure that you have the latest version of adobe photoshop installed it's a crucial to keep your creative tool up to date to enjoy all the exciting feature they have to offer to update open the creative cloud desktop app on your computer and head to the update tabs look for the check for update option and click on it if there is an update available go ahead and download and install it Once it is done, relaunch the Photoshop and let's move on the next step now. Now, if generative fill option is not showing after updating the Photoshop, move to the next step. Okay, so if updating the Adobe Photoshop didn't resolve the issue, it's time to consider consider the Photoshop Beta version. Open the Creative Cloud Desktop app again, but this time navigate to the Beta Apps tab. Look for the photoshop beta and click on that to and then install button let the installation process work and once it's complete launch the photoshop beta and launch the photoshop beta and we are almost done when you are uh, installing the beta this beta version make sure you have at least that 24.6 build number m.2181 m installed on your system okay so in after in the photoshop beta you will get the access now if you still facing the same problem like generative fill not showing in adobe beta uh, photoshop then it's time to take a slightly more hands on approach well first uninstall and then reinstall the adobe photoshop beta first you can completely uninstall the adobe photoshop from your uh, you can say from your uh, computer okay so you can follow this step like simple open the control panel on your computer then locate the adobe photoshop beta and list the program and application choose the option to uninstall the adobe photoshop restart your computer after uninstallation process is complete after that uh, open the creative cloud desktop app and go to the beta app step then find the photoshop beta and click on the install button next to it then again wait patiently for the installation to finish once it's done launch the photoshop beta and by following this step you will able to get the access of generative fill okay so by following this step you will surely get the access of generative fill but 
in the rare cases if you still find yourself encountering the same problem i recommend you to reach out to adobe support or team and explain your issue properly i hope this video was helpful to you if you found this video helpful please hit the like button and subscribe to our channel for more such content thanks for watching